All right, what's going on, everybody? It is uh, 4.30 in the morning, uh, super early. Um, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in the last couple of days. Um, I have been in a training course, um, so I have not had time to record anything. Um, but I was able to get up early today, and I figured uh, I would try to get something out for you guys um, so we have something for today. Um, and today I'm not really making much of a watch list. Um, but instead, I want to kind of talk about the market rotation um, because kind of what we're seeing right now. Um, so it's really important uh, to stay safe all the time. I think I always say this. Um, and a big thing is always to, you know, keep your eye on the overall market and, and kind of see what's happening um, big picture so you can adjust um, very fast to, to what strategy you're using. Um, and really quick, I just want to bring up the, uh, the Dow, the SPY, and the QQQ. Um, as you can tell, we are getting ready, and especially with the NASDAQ here, um, you can tell you're about to break multi-month support. Um, and if that happens, this could easily come down to, to you know, the, the 305s, or even it, it wouldn't be unconceivable to see it come up here to, to, to the high threes, low twos. Um, you know, we've been in a, a massive uptrend. Um, and you know, it is, it's probably time for a bit of a pullback. Um, we'll see if it can, if it can recover. Um, you know, nothing, nothing is a sure thing, but it's definitely important to note that um, we could be going into um, a, a downtrend in overall markets. Um, and when that happens, you know, you have to be really, really, really careful on your long positions. Um, things tend to not run as, as much. Um, breakouts tend to get stuffed a lot more. Um, so you have to be cautious of that. Um, and if you're a long, long biased trader, um, maybe now is time to take a step back, not trade as much, and take take smaller size. Um, if you're a short uh, a short seller, you know this is the time to start putting in some of the short positions. Um, I actually took uh, a puts position on this yesterday. Um, for those that don't know, puts are a way to short a stock without actually shorting it. Um, you're, you're using options, um, so it's a little bit safer. But I mean, options are volatile, um, so then they have their own set of risks as well. But if you look at the intraday, I was shorting, um, or I was buying puts up here, sold most of it right here, and I sold the rest of it down here. Made made like 200 bucks overall uh, on the puts. Um, definitely could have been more aggressive. Um, and I definitely thought I was swinging it overnight, but um, you know, due to the fact that I'm not sitting on my computer um, and I'm trading from my phone um, and a lot of other factors you know, in regards to that, to the fact that I can't actually monitor my trades, um, uh, you know, because of the, the, those factors, um, I've been playing very conservative, which, you know, anyone should do. If you're not in an ideal situation when you're trading um, or you don't feel comfortable in your trades, you know, there's no reason to, 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 to push it when uh, you, you're not, you're out of the comfort zone. Um, and so I did. And I mean, this probably goes lower. And at the end of the day, I probably left way too much on the table. But I'll see what it does today. Um, if it has a, maybe it can have that little push in the morning. And if it still stays weak, I'll probably do uh, some more puts on this today. Um, uh, if you look at the spy, same thing. Um, spy is looking weak. It could be breaking multi-month support here at three seven eight. I bet it could easily come back down to the low threes, mid threes, or even back up to these resistance levels at three fifty. So. Uh, just got to be very careful and watch it. Uh, now, what does that mean uh, for, for us as, uh, as penny stock traders? Um, you know, there's still opportunities. Just because the markets are going to get crushed doesn't mean you, there, there's not plays out there. That doesn't mean you can't sell profit if you're like me and a penny stock is your niche. Um, perfect example here is TSMPD. So when the markets come down, especially with listed stocks, um, OTC is not so much. Um, Re more, more recently, OTCs have been following the overall market, so um, I, I would say that's not not as normal. Um, but I think because there are so many traders, um, the OTCs are actually following the Nasdaq a lot closer. And what that means is, with it going lower, there's going to be a lot more panics. And the key is to stay patient, right? So as you can see here, TSMP had a really big wash in the morning, which you could have bought into here. And this is and, and this is what I'm saying. There's still opportunity. Uh, for like my favorite pattern for panic dip buys and things like that. 
uh, but you just have to have like more realistic expectations now. So you like so before we were in a hot market, uh, when it dumped all the way down here to four bucks, you could have expected you know a bounce up here to about four point four or something, right? It would have been reasonable. Um, but now you know you you're, you have to really be more conservative and just understand that the bounces are probably only going to be about ten percent bounces, um, and this was not even ten percent. This was three percent. So. You know, you just have to really be way more conservative and understand that you're going to take a lot more singles in this market. Um, and then it came down again, bottomed out here, and then it had a better bounce about 10%. Um, and that's just the, you have to, those are just the moves you have to take. You have to take those, those real quick, predictable patterns. Um, and that would have been it. That would have been your, your trade for the day right there. Um, so there's still opportunity, right? Um, the, the unfortunate thing is it's just not as good, right? Like, it's not like these days when it came, came down 30, 40% and then jumps up 20%, right? Um, those days are, are, are gone for now, but these panics will be happening a lot more. So just because TSMP D didn't do it, doesn't mean um, some other stocks can't do it. Um, so just be careful. Um, you can also do the same thing with listed stocks. If you look at things like uh, you know, TLROI yesterday got, got pretty crushed. Right, so TRW got crushed, came down. Uh, this one had had a better bounce in the afternoon. Uh, this had about a let's see, this had about a seven percent bounce. Um, so you know, there's still there's still opportunities there um, if those are the plays you like. But I will say, um, ideally, you'd want to be shorting. I uh, I did short Tilray yesterday. Um, again, it's from my phone. Couldn't really monitor the stock that well, so I didn't get the best entry. I think I shorted. Uh, right here. And I cut it pretty quickly. Uh, down here. Um, you know, I haven't had a short in a long time. So uh, I'm definitely a little rusty on my short selling. Um, and I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to keep practicing it now. Um, we're down 5% on the day. I think everything keeps gapping down. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be a, probably a, a rough day for a lot of traders. So just stay safe out there. Um, be really, really, really careful on any long position. Um, and I kind of understand that the shorts are probably going to be in control now for a little bit. Uh, again, we'll see what happens today. You never know. Um, but I definitely think this is going to be um, a short city. So hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, I'm going to be posting this here soon. And uh, sorry I'm so tired, but <laughs> I think I'll try to give you guys something um, at least. So uh, have a good one, guys. Stay safe. And um, you know, if you need any questions or have any questions I should say that you want answered, uh, feel free to message me. That's what I'm here for. And if you want more detailed watch lists and stuff like that, just go ahead and do a membership program. I am right at 20% sale right now. So have a good one, guys. Peace.